Charis TV. I have the grace. You can't stop me. John 8. John 8. From verse 3. We know so the like verse 3. John 8, verse 3. John 8, verse 3. And the scribes and the Pharisees bring a woman <clears throat> taken in adultery. Having set her in the midst, they say unto him, unto our Lord Jesus Christ, Teacher, this woman hath been taken in adultery in the very act. Now, in the law, Moses commanded us to stone such. What then sayest thou of her? And this they said, try him, that they might have whereof to accuse him. But Jesus stooped down and with his finger wrote on the ground. But when they continued asking him, he lifted up himself and say unto them, He that is without sin among you, let him first cast a stone at her. And he again he stooped down, and with his finger wrote on the ground. And they, when they heard it, went out one by one, beginning from the eldest, even unto the last. And Jesus was left alone and the woman where she was in the midst and Jesus lifted up himself and said unto woman where are they did no man condemn thee and she said no man Lord and Jesus said neither do I condemn thee go thy way from henceforth see no more Amen. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for your word. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Don't be surprised why I'm reading the scripture, you know. I want, to tell you, something. I want to tell you something. I was reading this verse. I found that God does not want us to judge one another. Tell you, don't judge one another right now. Do not judge one another. If you read here, you see these people say we found her in a very act. Automatically they found him there with the man. So their first th thing was they might have asked the man is it your wife? Or they know this woman that she normally live a life of adultery. And if they know, it means if they were the ones who were committing adultery with her. But the Bible says they went there to find something to accuse Jesus. If we can read clear, we'll understand that Jesus was their problem. But they use a method of judging someone. Not knowing that Jesus will teach them a lesson. There are some lessons we learned there. The first one is if you judge, hatula. don't judge with partial. If you judge, don't judge hatula. looking at the faces. Of the Number two, 
you could see that their judgment was wrong. Because after they judged with partiality, they went there to accuse. But Jesus taught them that before you judge someone, reflect to yourself if you are not worthy to be judged. Because if we read this verse, verse 7, you will see the reluctance of Jesus. He says, but when they continue asking him, it means, it means he never wanted to answer them. When they continue asking him, is then he said, okay, you can cast the stone if you don't have sin. I'm sure Jesus was saying, you people here, all of you, you are supposed to get the stone. The stone you are throwing to this one. You were supposed to throw it to yourself. But Jesus said, it's better you judge yourself before you judge others. And if you judge yourself, You'll be able to help others. You'll be able to help others. In other words, if you judge others, it's because you are failing to judge yourself. If you judge others, it's because you are failing to yourself. So you must check yourself so that you won't defend yourself. Okay. Look here. Okay, what I'm going to say is if you fail to judge yourself you will accuse others. And when you are accusing others one of the best reasons why you are doing that is to defend yourself. So you cannot defend yourself unless there are things you are doing. A Christian who cannot judge others is the one that can cover sins. Because he is giving love. And love covers a multitude of sins. If you read Galatians 6, from verse 1 to 6, it talks about if a man is I'm overtaken in, in trespasses or transgression. You who are spiritual, you need to restore that one. But be careful that you won't be tempted. Understand why the Bible says something. Because if you read there, you find number one. It's talking about if a man is deliberately overstepping of divine boundaries. If, if, if this man did, do, did a sin knowingly because this is for Christians. And Christians know sin. But if now he commit that sin deliberately, that's what the Bible says. That's what the Bible says. You are in the spirit. Meaning that you who did it deliberately, you are no longer in the spirit. Are you hearing what I'm trying to say? Once you do wrong, you are no longer that you know is wrong. You are no longer walking in the spirit. So the Bible says, you who are in the spirit, so it means you are walking in the spirit, knowing that he has done what he has done, knowingly, he is now in flesh. Restore that one. 
So this shows that our consideration of understanding someone's problem is our duty or responsibility of restoring such a Tell our responsibility is to restore others who have fallen than to speak against them. If you look, the first thing is the person will fall deliberately. And the second one is that person need people who walk in the spirit who have got the fruit the fruit of the spirit so automatically the person who has got fruit of the spirit is the one who has got love who can be able to restore that if we read verse 3 it says can you read verse 3 mama Galatians. For if anyone thinks he is something special, uh -huh. when in fact he is nothing special except in his own eyes, he deceives himself. So you can see that in the process of restoring others, there is also self-deception. Therefore, Therefore, you can reach a point you fail to restore others. You judge them. And after you judge them, you are like you are standing and you begin to compare yourself with others. And it becomes self-deception. When these people came to Jesus, they had self-deception. Because they know what they are doing. But when Jesus says, let's reflect it to you. We are also sinners. The problem is, they do not find chance to repent. Because a self-deception rob you to understand that you need your salvation. So now, if you compare yourself with the one you are supposed to help, you can still judge others more than Remember Jesus gave a parable of a sinner and a Pharisee where a sinner say, I don't even want to come close. But this Pharisee is a Pharisee. Hey, I'm not na, like that one. Already he was judging. I don't know if you're hearing this. Can you read verse 4, Mama? I read verse 4. Yes. But each one must carefully <clears throat> scrutinize his own work, examining his actions, attitudes, and behavior. Mm -hmm. And then... He can have the personal satisfaction and inner joy of doing something commendable without comparing himself to another. You heard that, that judging others is when you compare yourself with other people. So the Bible here says, so Bible each one one must focus on himself. Tell me Focus on yourself. Leave other people focus on yourself. You know, sometimes you can run on a wrong road. You become successful. And other people, when they see your success, they follow the same road. After you are successful, you find that now you, have, you turn 
to judge them. I'm sure you understand that. It's better you don't talk about it. You and just carry on doing what you're doing. And you do what is right. Because they are copying you. And they've been copying you. And they've been copying you. They will learn from you. But I I'm just saying that in parable. That it is possible that you run a wrong race and you become successful when you're on top. When you look back, you find there are many. And you realize you don't need money now. Don't judge them. So don't compare yourself with them. And don't speak that out. One of our problems in the church we are throwing stones to each other. I don't know if you hear me. Amen. Don't throw stones to me. Throw stones to yourself. Can you just read verse 5, Mama? Verse five. For every person will have to bear uh -huh. with patience his own burden of faults and shortcoming uh -huh. for which he alone is Al responsible. Alone responsible. You need to Deal with yourself. Today, to be honest, the way we are wrongly wired. I relocated it up or cut the signal. It's because we have met people. They hurt us. Speak against us. Lie to us. Groomed us in the wrong way. But won't you look at the signal? But if we reach a level where we see that they've done what they've done. If you want to be, to have a clean heart, forgive them. Don't judge them, forgive them. If you want to have a cleaner, because <laughs> listen, remember they've done, done you wrong. You have got something to say. You have got something to show that they have done you wrong. The way they groom you up. The way you found that they didn't send you to school. Disappointment around you. Many things that have happened. You find that they are bad things. The moment when you don't judge them. You invite Invite God to advance you. I don't know if you hear me. But when you, you judge them, it means you deserve what they did to you. One time, uh, I'm just giving you an example. One time, I, I won't mention the name, but I had a brother. This brother, one day, he caused me pain. A pain that, you know, I was supposed to be praying prayer that pain you, must, you, you must die. But I said, how can God do that? Why would you say how can God be visible in my life? It's when he do contrary to what he was expecting from me. I said, okay, let me forgive him and the day I met my brother, he said, I know you're my brother. But I feel like I can kneel down and wash your feet. Many people that we are judging, these are the people that will come and wash your feet. These are the people that will come in, this, in the time when you are not even thinking about it. And come and say, thank God for your life. I don't know if you hear me. So when you see someone fully, don't judge that person. And don't feel you are, you are better and than that person. Let me show you another scripture. Maybe it will help us. Because because I'm trying to be very fast, but Philippians 2, but Philippi 2, verse 3, verse 3, Philippians 2, verse 3, but Philippi 2, 3, 
Because many people, what they do? Hey. They do everything with anger. It says, let nothing be done through strife and vain glory. But in loneliness of mind, let each one esteem others better than themselves. Yeah. You know, when I was reading this verse, this verse I can is that even uh, whatever we do, we must not do to make someone, to cause someone pain. Or to prove someone that is weak. Because what God wants us to do <coughs> is to wish others the best. I was reading this, I said, this is a, if I always wish you the best, I even cannot see. Like una hanela, if I always wish you the best, una I cannot see. Sometimes, you know, it is not easy for us because we are born with a spirit of competition. <laughs> even, <laughs> when we are, even when we are one family, you find that you want to compete this <laughs> one. But don't do anything to hurt someone. Already you are judging that person. And don't do any show off. You know very well, uh, I know people of our thing, you know, I mean, some of you, the jobs you are working are not good, isn't <laughs> it? But when you go home, you want to show to the parents that you are coming from Johannesburg, isn't it? It's not true. Uh, yeah. I mean, sometimes you do uh, hairs in the, in, the, in, the, in the middle of the night. Or oh, sometimes you do them, you know, early in the morning and oh, you're what's to sing, 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 sing. It's, it's not true. Isn't it? But you are, you are not doing it for someone. You are doing it for parents. So that when parents look at you, they say, ah, what are you doing? They come back home. But there are others who are doing it for others. I want to show them if you have a spirit of showing others, God won't show off. God won't show off. God. Do you know that there is a show off of God? The show off of God starts this way. God sometimes will leave you in the dark. When other people are getting testimonies, they leave you in the dark. When people are saying it's over with you, you imagine. I don't know if you are hearing me. That is the show off of God. Show off God will love to put you in the dark. People search you. But you even forget your name. Well, they are still saying it's over with you. You can't marry. You can't get a job. They heard that you got a job. They heard that there's a wedding. They come to see. They come to see. They find that even when you can't dance. When, when the song goes that way, you go the other way. To them was like, hey, look at that. Look at that. But listen to this. Normally when God wants to judge his people, when you are not judging, he will make sure that people leave you. Or every situation works for the best. And it becomes a bad situation. When the situation is bad now, people begin to judge you. Even yourself don't judge. Because our people normally what they do is, if things are tough, they begin to accuse that one is witching me. That one is witching me. If you people do love judging, if a person is walking on ah, passing your yard and a person laugh, you begin to say, this person is laughing at you. 
I don't know if you're hearing me. Listen to this. If you want God to show how you this year, clean your heart, remove people, don't judge whatever you are doing, you are doing it for yourself. Your focus is yourself. If you put makeup on makeup put yela wena. Tralala sket. Awa tralala kisao. Le ubi no esijiga sket. When you are turning around yeah. and dancing, it goes yeah. there yeah. and there. You are God. doing it for your own self. Put yela wena. Leave people. Go to eleva tu. You will never, you will never stop people. Oga so emishche ba tu kore ba volele. They will even talk in your grave. Mata volele le chile la ubulu kwa. I don't know if you hear him. I get seven into. So the Bible says. So every Bible ya maren. Make sure. Look at that verse. It says, what? "Let nothing, let nothing, be done through strife and vain glory." But wish everybody well. Luke six verse thirty-seven. Luke six thirty-seven. Can you just read that verse? I'll tell you what is the meaning of that verse. After this, we must release everybody we had. Those God will start to work. Luke 6.37 Luke 6.37 Do not judge others self-righteously and you will not be judged. Do not condemn others when you are guilty and unrepentant and you will not be condemned. For your hypocrisy, pardon others when they truly repent and change, and you will be pardoned when you truly repent and change. Listen, that verse says, Do not judge, you will be judged. Judge there means consider, carefully, means consider carefully. Because if you consider coffee, you will know that he will judge his discord. Before you speak out a word of a curse, consider carefully. Consider carefully why it is happening. Listen, there's no, there's no smoke without fire. Eh? Mm. So consider carefully that why, why are you accused? Why when you are lying against you? So that you must not retaliate. If you do that, you are judging us. Do not be judged. Do not judge, you will be judged. Another word of judge means to distinguish. To distinguish. Be able to separate. Remember what the Bible says. If people curse you, because that's the response that we normally do. We, we respond by defending ourselves. When people curse you, we speak all evil things against you. Blessed are you. Do you know that people normally talk against you a lot? At the moment when you see things working against you, talking against you, everything against you, listen, do not judge. Do not say God is not with me. Do not say anything. Consider carefully distinguish who is your brother. Have awareness. Another word is have awareness. Have understanding why things are happening that way. So that you won't judge others and judge yourself. I don't know if you're hearing me. Because listen, it is possible that you can speak about other people that they were wrong. Whereas you are the one. I can tell you remember the woman who brought uh, an oil that she poured it in the feet of Jesus. And the smell was everywhere. The disciples say, who was the disciple? Judas. He could not consider because he was thinking for himself. Remember, Remember that the Bible says we must esteem others better than ourselves. When you see 
oils coming to others. Don't feel jealousy. I don't know if you hear me. Consider it carefully. It will also come to you. Don't speak bad. If you judge, you will find that you don't know the meaning of it. Jesus said, when he asked, I said, these people, all these people you are talking, you always have them. them. But me, you want and them. And this has been done and for my burial. But, but to Judas, it was a waste. It was supposed to be the money is supposed to be. That's why I say, hey, before you judge, consider carefully because you don't know what the person is saying to you. You know, I love David. I've been talking about David most of the time. When David was insulted, when everybody around him said, it's better we kill this dog. David considered carefully. David considered carefully. He's worthy to do this. If my son from my loins who's able to fight me and chase me from us, what about this one? I can tell you this. Some situations that we are going through they were supposed to be giving us excitement. But look at it. They make us to be Bad. We, we judge. judge. We talk against and people. We end up being angry I don't know if you're hearing Rich 11. Where you are able to say, Rich 11. 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 The person in the disappointment because of judging. Can you see? Disappointment. Does not make you to stay one place. But judging that disappointment makes you to stay there. From there when people come and say, sorry sister, hey, 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 you uh, are not my type. You are And from there you beat here. Why are you beating here? The person saw it. That's why he said. Why are you beating here? The person saw it. That's why he said. Why are you beating here? The person The problem we have to do is. We are failing to move forward. We are failing to move forward. We are failing to move forward. We are failing to Judge other people who are not worthy to be with us. Sometimes we need to leave them. That's why I'm going to leave you and move forward. Because I want a clear heart. If you're a Christian, you need to check your heart. And say, why this person is not living? Because the person has no ability to forgive. No, this person. Always when I remember. One place. When I remember. Stop judging you. 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 Stop judging in fact, from today, when you remove someone, when you remove people, and stop, stop following people, and 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 stop following people, if we read 33 to 41, hmm. can you read? Now, when they heard this, they were infuriated and they intended to kill the apostles. 
But a Pharisee named Gamaliel, a teacher of the law of Moses, highly esteemed by all the people, stood up in the council of the Sanhedrin Jewish High Court and ordered that the men be taken outside for a little while. Then he said to the council, men of Israel, be careful in regard to what you propose to do to this man. For some time ago, Theodos rose up claiming to be somebody of importance. And a group of about 400 men aligned themselves with him. But he was killed and all who followed him were scattered and came to nothing. After this man, Judas the Galilean rose up and led up an uprising during the time of the census and drew people after him. He was also killed and all his followers were scattered. So, in the present case, I say to you, stay away from this man and let them alone. For if this plan of or action is of men, merely human in origin, it will fail and be destroyed. But if it is of God and it appears that it is, you will not be able to stop them or else you may even be found fighting against God. The council of Sanhedrin, the Jewish high court, took the advice and after summoning the apostles, they flogged them and ordered them not to speak of the name of Jesus and released them. So they left the council rejoicing that they had been considered worthy, dignified by indignity to suffer shame for the sake of the name. And every single day in the temple area and in homes, they did not stop teaching and telling the good news of Jesus as the Christ, the Messiah, the anointed. Amen. I want us to look at this. Though sometimes the results become opposite, it is possible that if, if it is not of God, it can die off. Or it becomes opposite. I don't know if you hear me. So, we as Christians, the moment we see someone rising, because if you can read there, you see that the Gamaliel decision, the decision perpetrating Gamaliel was to stop them, not to judge. Well, already they were saying. They are going to kill Peter. They are going to kill these people. But when this man said, Please, consider consider this. It's not only Peter who rises. There was Theodias. There was also another one from Galilee. All these people rose up and people to them. And they are dead. Because everything must end in death. And there is no competition in death. And no judging in death. It's All these people brought people. There. And after they drove people from there, he was killed. Also, this one of Galilee was killed. Also. Let's leave these people. You know, you must reach a level where you leave people. Because God knows when they are going to be killed. When they are going to die. When God knows when he is going to stop them. Than talking against them. Judging them. We can spend time talking about someone who is going to die soon. And we found ourselves in sin of judging others. These people, even when they were beaten up, to show that you cannot stop them. Their beating was saying, oh, thank you, Lord. We have suffered for Christ. We have beaten for Christ. But they were ready to die for Christ. It's better you don't judge people. Because some people are ready to die for what they believe in. I don't know if you hear me. I don't know. Do you know that uh, we are wasting time? Think about if now 
I have to fight you for what I you want to die for. It means I must waste my whole years. Not enjoy life fighting you. But this, yourself you are enjoying it. And clap you say thank you God. We need to stop. Some people, some people are enjoying gossiping. Don't stop them. Don't judge them. Others are enjoying to compete you. When you found it, don't judge them. Others are there to make you stupid. Don't judge them. Because God will judge them. There will be a day where the one who is doing this will also face judgment from God. I don't want to judge you. Carry on doing what you are doing. Carry on doing what you are doing. The moment when I found this message, I stopped worrying. I just stopped worrying. I stopped worrying. Well, if it's of God, let it come to pass. Look here, for example, I have, I have this mama. Do you know what killed John the Baptist? Was judging. He looked at the wife. Called Herodias of Herod. Why Herod? And he shouted to say, Hey! You are not supposed to have this. Herodias was listening. They she found a way. How can she kill him? John the Baptist was supposed to be silent. And talk about come and stop sinning. Stop sinning. And stop sinning. And stop sinning. And stop sinning. And stop sinning. When she was dancing, and that girl cannot dance. I don't know. It was the plan of the enemy to kill John. I don't know if you hear me. Because the dance was like this. And doing like this, she was dancing like this. And then from there, she danced like this. And 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 then. This man who doesn't fear God began to say, Can you ask anything? You have pleased me a lot. Think about it. Even in half of my kingdom. And the girl was not even his daughter. This man could not fear God. I'm sure he was drunk. And he was not even his daughter. He was not even and the girl went to the mother. You heard what he said. What must I ask? The head of the man of God. The head of the man of God. The head of the man of God. Many head of the man of God. The head of the man of God. Were demanded because of judgment. Men of God, protect your head. Maya, you must thank God. Demand God to come and let toye our wisdom. Protect your head. And God to come and let toye our wisdom. I'm not saying don't speak the truth. I can't risk our relation. Ne. But there are things that they don't need you. One of the things that they want to do is to get out from there. Until God sends you. The ministry of John. Was to bring back. The people of God. The ministry of John. The ministry of John. Was to bring back. The people of God. The ministry of John. Was to bring back. Those who don't want to be baptized. You have got no issues with them. I don't know if you are hearing me. But God allowed me. Because he was a more than a prophet. And he did his job. He was supposed to go home. But can I tell you this? You are here. You still have life here. Protect your head from the stories you are listening. Protect your head from the wrong people around you. Protect your head. Your head is your destiny. I don't know if you are hearing me. Stop judging. Concentrate on yourself. God bless you. God bless you.
Keep watching Charis TV.